Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Myers. I'm Tom Rocco. And we got better three. at that this week. What'd you say, Tom? We got better at that this week. Yeah, we got uh, almost. <laughs> and you didn't say, I think we're a great glue squad after that, but we'll get that the next time. Next we time. wanted to thank the other family members that subscribe to this channel. You know what we're up to now. Like, I think we lost a couple. We lost my sister after the last one. So no blame. We'll eventually uh we'll eventually get to 10 at some point. Um I heard that I, maybe we should ask um AI if 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 they could subscribe to our channel too, because then yeah. they could have self-replicating machines. <laughs> and then we get like one billion subscribers in no time. So um, so today, so the last episode, we talked a lot about images and, um, um, we talked about images and wanting to, uh, continue that I'm trying to get, I've got like a, a sp spell checker on my Google Docs going crazy. But since we didn't, so the good news is we didn't write anything down, so I can just close the Google Doc and not have to worry about it. <laughs> All right, anyway, so last time we were talking about images, and uh, and we, and I thought it'd be interesting to sort of delve a little bit more into this. And unlike other episodes where we test some of this stuff out, I'm going to be learning some of this on the fly. Because on our last episode, when we tested some stuff out, it seemed to get a little bit smarter towards the uh the second <laughs> the second time we asked and so um that's not an excuse we're we're highly paid and so <laughs> we're supposed to put in a lot of time here but um in this particular instance i think we'll uh we'll use our surprises sort of part of the uh ambience of this episode what do you think Tom? it can't be worse so let's try it <laughs> i mean if we start at the low end we start at the floor <laughs> we only have Way to go up, yeah. You know, the upward trend to go. We've hit so, the floor already, so yeah. I mean, I think I think the last two episodes were the floor, <laughs> so at least we can't go below the floor. We think, yeah. All right. So you mentioned in the last episode that that AI has a lot of problems with um with faces and teeth and um um hands and feet hands yeah like so many hands I, hands that you know are hand that's like i don't know like that's a <laughs> single hand yeah so not that i doubt you or anything but i want to let's we want to try some of this stuff out and see see if um if it's for our you know a couple audience members that are listening to this podcast they won't be able to see this but at least if you're on youtube watching it you'll be able to see it I don't know what that was. Oh, that was a commercial. <laughs> That's a, that was a commercial. That was weird. I'll mute this. If it once again, I think it, <laughs> that was not planned. I think it was trying to distract us because I know it was talking. Um, anyway, all right. So let's let's go ahead. Let's uh, put together. Tom, do you want to uh, share your screen and we can uh, we can set this up so we can do. Um, we can do sort of like a full screen. Yes. Let's see here. here. Give me one second to move some things around. Yep. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. All right. Let me make your screen bigger here. Don't need it that big. Here we go. So I have already tried uh, in our warm-ups uh, a couple of uh, drawing props and um, without much success. Uh, but I am finding, um, you know, the different AIs seem to really have pretty different um, uh, experiences for us. I actually started asking AI some jokes uh, or puns, and some of the AIs... Uh, responded with humor some responded uh, a little more um straight lace uh 
uh, and and the drawing AI seem to also have some pretty big differences. Uh, some fast, some slow, some draw realistic, mm -hmm. draw cartoonish. Uh, so who knows what we're going to get here? Okay. All right. Uh, I will. Uh... And so one of the things we we were running a couple tests on a couple different subjects and. It was interesting to see that um, when AI decides to make a cartoon versus like a photorealistic, um, a photorealistic, uh, um, what do you want to say? A photorealistic type drawing. So we'll see if we can try to figure that out. Try to figure that out too. I want to, I want to make it a little bit bigger here. Your picture. There's a way to get you. You can go ahead and start while I'm trying to get this. I advise okay, you. so I'm going to say this is for Gemini. Draw me a picture of a jolly fellow laughing. We'll see how many teeth we get. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go do the same thing with Art breeder. <laughs> Art breeder seems to be one of the faster ones. So oh, those teeth are fine. That's not a fellow, I don't believe. Uh, okay, what is going on with this finger face <laughs> melt? <laughs> Can you see that? Yes, I can. <laughs> That's very disturbing. What's his cheek is melting into he's pulling his face off, I think. So the teeth are fine, but as we heard, the hands are kind of disturbing. That's really weird. Can and it's interesting they chose a sketch. Yeah. Did you say a sketch? No, a sketch? I said draw. Draw me a picture of a jolly fellow laughing. Uh <laughs> bounce over and see what Gemini has done. Huh, won't do it. Well, let me try. See if I'm going to try Copilot. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, that was one of your tests. That's one of my old ones. Yeah, it says I can't. It's it's telling me not. I can't do it either. That's uh, uh, Gemini. Yeah. All right, we'll see what Copilot will do for us. I'm just going to try a person laughing. Let's see what it can do. Let's leave, it, let's, let's leave it a little broader. We are working on, we expect this feature to return soon. Well, They've that's taken, Gemini's taken down the, the drawing. We drew pictures of bears. <laughs> I think we just broke it. <laughs> so <laughs> so Copilot comes back with Santa Claus. Can you zoom in on your screen a little bit? Here, zoom in on your browser. Let me, let me blow this up as well. So that's definitely a jolly fellow. The teeth are not bad. The hands are all appropriate. Looks kind of drunk. Drunk Santa Claus. Can you zoom in one more? So it's interesting. I, I asked uh, Gemini to draw a picture of Santa Claus, and it wouldn't do that. I wonder if they, if if Gemini has now blocked all pictures of people. Huh. I'm wondering if. I wonder why um, doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> That's well, he's jolly. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask it to do a photorealistic and see what comes up. Oh draw yeah, good a, idea. Draw me a photo. Realistic picture of a jolly fellow laughing. I'm going to try to draw me a picture of a bear laughing. Oh, well, apparently it doesn't have any qualms about bears. Gemini? Yeah. This is a uh, bear laughing. Looks like it's yawning. Uh, that's not bad, actually. No, this teeth are yellow. It's front teeth are a little weird. So it's still like a sketch. It's still like a animation co-pilot is. Yeah. 
so my co-pilot, when I asked for a photorealistic, comes back much more realistic than the cartoonish last one. Teeth all look good. No problems here. All right, let's see if we can trick Gemini into drawing a picture of a person. Doesn't have any qualms with animals. Oh, what if we, okay, what if we did this? Draw a picture of a sketch of a person. Charcoal. I don't know how I spell charcoal. I think that might be right. Charcoal. Hmm. So I asked Art Breeder to draw a photorealistic picture of a person laughing, and it came back much better, less cartoonish. So and I no said, problem with the teeth. Uh, it's refusing to draw people. We should have, we did we ask people? No, we were we were doing food last time. Yeah. Um hmm. Feet. Let's try feet. I'm going to start with draw a picture of hands. Just see what it does. Sure, here's a picture of hands. Okay, well, we're getting parts. Well, that's straight out of, uh, well, that's almost out of Michelangelo. Oh, my. So, I, I can't show mine here. Uh, this is not you are I showing to draw, draw a picture of a person with bare feet. <laughs> and it came back with, can't quite tell. This person looks almost, uh, yeah, that his fingers are a little messed up. Uh, I'll switch over. Let's just draw a picture of hands. Let's see. <laughs> let's do a comparison. Oh, okay. So, oh, my goodness. There wow. are six fingers on those. Wow. Hands. And what did you ask? Just to draw a picture of hands. I didn't even like, I didn't even prompt it. And that's Gemini. So we'll draw yeah. pictures. Okay. I'm asking co-pilot, draw a picture of hands. So this one, this one is the man hands from the, the <laughs> Seinfeld episode. Yes. But instead of man hands, it's like Chernobyl radiation deformed. <laughs> And yeah. with six fingers and no thumb. <laughs> and then this other hand is, is missing. Oh, yeah, look disturbing. at that. Oh, golly. He's going a little bit more. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, look at some of these hands. Uh, that's one, funny. two, three, four, five fingers and a thumb. I wonder what that drawing is on the, the hand. Yeah, it's almost like a P symbol, but not quite. There's a couple uh, somewhat real hands, like the one right above that. Some some are good. Um, this one. <laughs> that looks like a turducken hand. <laughs> Maybe it's keeping our history. That one is not good at all. Uh, nor this one, which has fingers going both ways. Huh, so... Well, maybe we should ask it to draw a picture of teeth. The peace hand is, so it's looking like if it's like modeled after something like the peace symbol or the fist, it seems to be doing a decent job. But when it's trying to come up with something new, you get turducken hands. Yeah. Oh, and what's going on? <laughs> what is in there? there anyway? Can't That's tell. Like, it almost looks like an octopus. People? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll let me zoom in more. I'll generate more. Let's see what huh. we got here. Why would it have so much trouble with hands? It's um, just straight up hands. Okay, but these these hands aren't bad. These hands are well. That one, no, yeah, bad. no, I, yeah, yeah. They look a little like ET, but uh... yeah. Well, it looks a little bit more like a Neanderthal arms. It's interesting that Gemini is trying to interconnect the hands. 
like all these hands are like touching except this one this one's missing a hand but other than that they're all like intertwined which is interesting yeah, yeah. this one Not is a little disturbing so yeah because co-pilot did, did just like hand photos and a flower in the middle <laughs> what's I don't know what's going on with that? There's not even a hand in there. No. Too bad you can't like give a thumbs down on that one. <laughs> not that any of the other ones don't deserve a thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended, because now if we're looking here, there's some missing thumbs. Um and some very mangled hands here. And it looks like a smiley face on that fingernail. All right. It says okay, I'm gonna try. Art, oh, I got to get this picture off. Draw <laughs> a picture of hands. It says, uh, enter new prompt to generate more images. So it's it's telling me basically it's done with hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going on on the right? <laughs> uh, that not is, good. That's actually interesting because it's like half real and half drawn. Yeah, that is that could go in an art museum, Tom. I think. Yeah, but it, save it, that one. It just it's a smooth merge. I know. I think that one's worth some money right there. <laughs> I could pay for. I could pay for a lunch. Oh yes. Um. All right. Well, I'm going to try teeth now. On COVID. Yeah, you draw me a picture of a smile. Just, I'll go for teeth soon, but I'll, let's see what happens with the smile. Oh, won't do the smile. Okay, draw. Lemonade. A picture of teeth. It'll do hands, and I'll see if it'll do teeth. We are working. Okay, so that's interesting. It doesn't want to do teeth, but I'll do hands. What other? Copilot um, comes back with uh, huh, teeth with with all kinds of uh, related things. Uh, some I don't know what it is. Uh, hmm. Looks like perfume and soap and uh, but I asked her for teeth and it gave teeth. Uh, draw a picture of a toothy smile. Okay, so um, so I gave up on teeth. Just curious. <laughs> so did Copilot. <laughs> and so it's got feet now. Because I decided to try to see what it could draw. And so to draw hands and feet, you know what? Let's see the feet, but then I'm going to see if it'll draw a picture of an elbow. Um, but what's interesting about Copilot is it's drawing a picture. It's making it cartoonish. So they seem to... <laughs> so Copilot doesn't seem to be afraid. Yeah. Or of anything really. So so I guess we've just learned if you wanna if you wanna draw images, then you have to add, go to copilot because Bard will be temperamental. All right, you ready for some feet? Let's I, well I don't know what's not, gonna not, happen. Not here. Bare feet. Don't yeah, don't ask for bare feet. That's well, I think there's I just put feet, so I'm not I'll just curious worried. in what it says. <laughs> So this one could be in a travel blog. This one is a little weird. I clean those toenails. Medical issues, including some weird toenails. Oh yeah, toenails. That's we. That's something we haven't thought. Is that of. that one has six toes, but it's not showing the the sixth. They both have six toes. Well, let's not let the yeah. going off the screen. Let's not let it. Let's not let a good story get in the way of the facts or whatever they say. <laughs> And there is some, um, there's a foot that's actually reversed. One foot is forward and the other foot is, this is the under. Oh, that's, 
that's huh. that's sort of interesting. That it could be in an art museum too. Yeah, like, I, because at first you think it's just it's just the feet, but then you didn't yeah. realize that it's actually the same legs with one foot twisted backwards. This is like an Escher, uh, you know, with the things that cross each other that are impossible. Yeah, exactly. I think we're on to a, a new virtual art museum here. Yeah, maybe we ought to save some of these good ones. Let's go ahead and download this image. Yeah, get rid of this. Draw a picture of feet. <laughs> oh, I think we've got more than six here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the... That was... <laughs> That's that's definitely worth an art. I, I do like that sketch one though that has half real, half sketch. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is eight toes. So here's the thing. Like, how difficult is it to say that feet have five toes, normal ones? Toes, wow. And weird angles. Can you can you ask it why it drew eight toes? It'll probably Close off all image generation. <laughs> Don't block Why us. Did you draw these feet with eight toes? Okay, let's see what it says. I apologize for the mistake. You're absolutely right. Humans typically have five photos on each feet. My image generation, sometimes it makes errors. Wow. But I guess what's interesting is you know, I, everyone knows that it struggles with this stuff. So um, uh, you would think that they would put some criteria on basics, like fingers and yeah. feet and those type of things. It does not seem that hard. No, no. I'm just more curious on what it'll draw and what it won't draw, like what parts, because some without losing our made for kids rating um i i'm curious oh, on i'm curious on like if it'll draw an eye oh, it won't oh, draw oh. <laughs> what is that? this is back to art prompter art, art grader i asked it simply draw a picture of feet and oh my goodness these are both just it almost looks like like a foot a pig <laughs> a torn pig <laughs> I do like how that one foot is like combined in it. <laughs> wow. Uh, oops. Every time I go back on this, uh, and this is the other foot that it gave me. Oh my goodness. Why is this so bad? <laughs> so yeah, another lesson here is if you want um, your business, and you're looking for AI to draw things for you. You know, draw eyes. Yeah. Go to some and not others. Okay, I'm going to ask an elbow next. I'm going to need a picture of an elbow. Whoa, that eye looks like they're seeing a murder. Wow. It's interesting on the emotion of the eye. They're all the same type of eyes. This person is this person has a hairy eye. That's a little creepy. All right. And not it's sort of interesting that they're all drawing the same type of eye. I can't generate these images. Oh, it's thrown on the flag. All right. Draw a picture. Gemini is very let's see what it says. It's, it's not stopping. Ah, it stopped. It says show drafts. Hello. Hold on for a second here. It says show drafts. I missed this part. I wonder what happened. I click on that. We may just have to switch over to Copilot because, oh, it's the same thing. Oh, look, show. Here's an image of an elbow. Oh, hey, you found it. I can get it to work. That bicep. elbow. Oh right. no! Copilot. I asked to draw a picture of feet. Oh! At first, you think that that's just normal to you actually look at it. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Actually, Chris, this could be a new shoe design. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you've seen those, uh, those shoes that have the toes built in. They should make realistic toes. You see that one leg that's right next to the <laughs> other one on the right? I don't oh, know what's yeah, going on there. Like the, oh my God. It gets worse the more you look at it. <laughs> yeah, at first, it didn't look that bad until you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's one of those things that gets worse. All right. So, did you see we were able to hack Gemini? This is actually probably newsworthy. So now I'm going to go yeah, back. What did you yeah. So it's, it's, I, I noticed it said show drafts because, um, and so it said can't show it because I'm can't do it. And then the last one is sure. Here's a pick and an elbow. So, um, so let me try to go back and draw a picture of, te of teeth. What was our it's first one? The it. teeth? It's teeth. Right? Uh, yes. A smile. Uh, I asked for a toothy smile. All right. So we're going to choose this draft thing and get it to show us its images no matter what. But I haven't heard when I hear that um, there are problems like this. Okay, here we go. Show drafts. Nice find. This is a hack. We just learned how to hack. We, this is a brand new hack. This should get us some some followers. There you go. Okay. This so doesn't do one, it. draft two. Oh, we're working. So what so why did it do why did it do an elbow? Maybe there's something about about the face that just won't go there. So does it again? I'll go back and it wouldn't do no geminated hands. Regenerate draft. No. Okay, well, doesn't look like this hack works for everything, and I'm not sure why not. Let me just do one more. Yeah, it seems like it's particularly reticent to uh, show faces. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. But even let's just let's just you know argue this out in that we know the we know it had problems, but we know they had problems, but like those problems were with something specific, like your you know you're asking for images of Nazis or something like that, yeah, so not necessarily a baby okay, so what if you it, ask it why it can't generate a picture of a baby, okay. What would it say? Well, I mean, I guess technically it's answering right now. Why? Great pictures. A with a smile. Sounds like a safe query. Just to put some opinion in on it. Yeah. There's nothing unsafe. Train. Okay, you're right. Sounds safe. There's nothing inherently safe, or unsafe about the image itself. However, are trained on massive data sets. Text. Oh, this may be biases or restrictions. I might be steered away from creating images of people, huh. especially children. Ah, so children in, in certain scenarios, like smiling. Oh, that you know, that might be a good thing. I don't want you know weird people doing making yeah. photos of of kids. All right, so let's do um, jolly. Draw me a picture of a man smiling. Oh, here's a picture of a man smiling. Oh, it teased me. Let's go to the drafts. See what it says. Since it showed it for a second, it might be a draft. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it hmm. caught itself. <laughs> Man. Um, all right. Where are we at? Um, 
Oh, Gemini man. is Gemini is seems to have the most kind of <clears throat> safety lockdowns built in. Yeah. Well, I can't believe it's been 30 minutes already, this episode. <laughs> it's time yeah, to accomplish so time. much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we did sort of come across a hack that sometimes you can get Gemini to reveal an image by doing the 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 drafts thing. Um and we've confirmed that you want to stop uh, sharing your screen. Certain of these AIs, yes. Uh let's see. Certain of these AIs <clears throat> really struggle with teeth and hands and feet so far. Which I have to say does surprise me. It doesn't seem like that that's too big of an ask. Yeah, we definitely ran into the foot situation. But I guess what was really interesting that I was sort of unexpected was it drew pictures of something, but oops, I'm drawn on the wrong area, but not pictures of like other things. So like it would do feet and hands, but it wouldn't do, it initially wouldn't do an elbow till we asked it to do an elbow. Yes. And then it was mostly bicep. I'm not sure that that was a bicep. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yes, a growth. <laughs> All right, so... Um, so this is something we should come back to, you know, in uh, some number of episodes down the road and see if these uh, have improved. Uh, I would expect rapid improvement. Why shouldn't these things get better quickly at this? So I'm I'm going to ask AI what we should focus in on next. So after exploring image generation of generative AI image generation, of it, which you were not very good at, <laughs> because you didn't want to show a bunch of images, what should be the next episode of a podcast about generative AI. Let's see what it says. Yeah. That's a great question. It is, it's, is silence mean agreement when it doesn't <laughs> say that you're very bad? It, it, it didn't dispute. Yeah, I don't like that. Generative AI and the creative industries, forensic, generative scientific discover, discuss how generative AI, find a research is still basically showing. It's still basically. I don't think we can do that host a live episode with uh, with listeners yet. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to get our subscribers. Yeah, to actually join in. <laughs> All right. Well, since AI didn't do a very good job. Let's send it back to the people. If you have episodes, I haven't checked email, by the way. So if your aunt emailed us, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> we'll check it this for, for the next episode, I promise. Um, email us at greatgoosequad at gmail.com. Help us find so, some, some other broken aspects of AI to help AI develop itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should start sending this feedback to like google or stuff yes. you know send them through the some way i don't know how to do that but we'll figure well, it out maybe they'll follow us yeah that's true maybe one of the subscribers are their ai researchers <laughs> <laughs> all right well till next episode thank you tom thank you chris all right we'll see you when our next episode drops bye